See this little box right here? There's nothing in it. It's because we haven't explored anything. <laughs> look at this, look at this. So all of this brown area right here, the brown area right here, right here, up through here, up there, all these islands. This is one of the DLCs where we're, we're, we're ignoring that one for now. But like all of this, we haven't, we haven't even touched this. We've probably discovered or traveled across like one fourth of what's actually in the game. Okay, so uh, let's check. We have 307 pounds. 307 pounds that we got to uh, to offload. That's because we went to. That's right. That's right. We went to um, this little this little area down here, which I want to explore again, but we can't take on the lich yet. I think that's one of my like one of my. Um, I don't know if we should be able to to fight that before we go to the DLC areas or not. I don't think we need to. Cause like that that was difficult. <laughs> the lich is hard. The thing hits it, it just one shots you, and it is constantly healing for like a lot. So um, uh, I do want to try and kill it, and I'm sure that there's other ones in the game. So I gotta try and get up to the point where I can kill them. But yeah, that, that's gonna that's gonna be a minute. That's gonna be a minute. So here, let's go stash all of the stuff here. Surprised that this isn't worth much. Imperial Templar Knight Curus is only 175. I think this is the only like th this is the only set that I've seen in the game, so I'm kind of surprised that um, that uh, it's not worth more. Oh, we got a bunch of the amulets too. We gotta sell those. We might go do do that. Also, we obviously we have the uh, the pillows. That we've been collecting. So we're going to try and get a bunch of pillows. Because I, I, I do want to kind of build that pillow fort. I think the pillow fort idea is kind of funny. So we're going to do that. Uh, let's toss that there. Let's toss this here. I get that pillow fort going. Um, more books. All the books. I wish that we had a way in game. Can I just use something at me? What the hell? Uh, I wish there was a way in the game that we can track what books we have. That would be great. Also, our agility is dumb. Damn. There's probably a mod to track that, but uh, I don't have one. Cause I would like to. I would like to try and collect them. I gotta collect them, man. Boom, boom. Okay, let's toss some more rings over here. Uh, our blood ring. I don't think we need that. Let's see. Do we need this? Ring of the Hortator? Probably not. Murdrum ring. Toss that here. The moon and star. Uh, we're not wearing it. I mean, it's it's only like 0.1 pounds. It's not that big of a deal. The six house amulets we definitely need to get rid of. Because those things are heavy. Also, what's going on with my bitrate? Is the stream good? Is stream good? 207 pounds. Um, I mean, we do still have a lot of these. That's 28 pounds. Uh, wait, that... Damn, that really is 28 pounds of uh, potions. Shit. Now let's drop these blades. Let's get rid of that one. And we'll keep the paralysis one. That one's handy. Yo, is my internet fucking up? Your house is a beautiful treasure trove? Oh, yeah. Dude, we got, we got so much treasure in there. Boom. Boom, boom. Uh, guys, yeah, let me know if 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 stream is 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 good. Like if if it keeps buffering or anything. Because if it is, um, we're have some issues. But yeah, my my shit's staying in red. It's it's at a decent bit rate, but it's staying in red. But well, we might be okay. Teleportation is the only civilized way to travel. You seem a little. 
bit bit rady at the moment, but it's not bad. Let's let's wait and see if it picks back up, like if it fixes itself. Um, I'm not doing anything too crazy, so it's nothing that's gonna like be bad. Um, but we'll see if it picks back up. If it doesn't, then teleportation is the only civilized way to travel. That's kind of annoying. I'm not gonna, uh, you know, keep stream going if it's constantly dipping. Building navigation mesh. Okay, so we're coming over to uh, Creeper. We're coming over to Creeper. And uh, we are. Oh, God. I only have a few out. moments. I got a lot of time. Dude, I had three power outages earlier today. I think I'm just having technical issues in general today. It's crazy. What was the snap you sent earlier? Um yes. So I I was trying I was trying the Elder Scrolls Castle game and I have to try it on my uh on the iPhone rather than my actual like phone. My personal phone. Say your business. Because uh on my personal phone I still use a Samsung Galaxy S8 and it's it does it doesn't support it. So I I, I started using the iPhone uh since it's like a little bit newer. And yeah. Uh, it got, it started overheating after like 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm like, bro, you can do, I use this fucking iPhone for my face tracking. And you're going to overheat over a damn game in 10 minutes? Are you real? Are you serious? <laughs> are we looking for shiny aylets or something? Yes. That's exactly what we're yes. doing. We're, uh, just kind of looking for, for, um, uh, just enchanted shit. Just because I can, I don't know. I felt like, I didn't really know what to do today uh because today's just kind of like a meh day so i was like you know what we'll um go around and do some exploration go into some of the dungeons and stuff and uh try and see if we can find anything rare i only have a few moments you know i feel like that'll be a good one because we we beat the main story last stream fresh game um we beat the main story last stream so now I'm just kind of trying to beef myself up, and then uh, we'll start getting into the DLC at some point. <laughs> Three in one day. Do you live on two fifty four apocalypse? Dude, I don't know what's going on. If it's not internet issues, it's fucking like power issues. Like I end up having power outages and shit. I mean, I'm I'm moving at some point, but the place that I'm moving is not going to be any better. It's actually going to be worse if anything. Which is great, but uh, hopefully it's temporary. Um, it kind of heated up a lot for you, but not too bad. Dude, I don't even have a phone. I don't even have a case on my phone. That's the crazy thing. The iPhone doesn't have a case on it. I had to put it down because my hands, like, it was uncomfortable to touch my touch the phone. <laughs> so I had to like set it down after ten minutes. I'm gonna try and see if I can get it running with BlueStacks on my PC since my fucking uh, Android phone is too outdated apparently. But, yeah, because I, I tried I tried updating the version of Android on it to see if that might do something, but it won't even update. Oh, please, God. Like, it's like, no, nah, we're at we're on the latest update. And it's like, bro, it's Android nine. That shit's old. All right. <laughs> Why walk when I can guide? But, you know, um, ah, friend, how does I was coming here to sleep. That's what it was. I was going to rest for uh, 24 hours. Your phone was just warm to the touch, and you think that your phone is newer. Yeah, mine, the, the iPhone that I have for for VTubing is a iPhone 11. Is there something? It was a cheap one that I got off of uh, Amazon. It was like a refurbished one. So I think it was like less than 200 bucks. A real it's still a lot of money, but uh, for what I use it for, Say it makes your sense. Needs. We kind of sort of did the shiny eyelet the other day, kind of. The sh shiny alet? Where's the shiny? Oh, the the big Water! one. Yeah, we kind of did, didn't we? We found one of the the creatures that are like three times their normal size. Hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate. Nice. Oh yeah, we're making we're making bank. I don't know if I'm allowed to wait in their house or not. That's why I'm doing this. 
can spare a few moments. Uh, uh, can you, can you, can you, there you go. Score me. Score me. Uh, 24 hours. Let me hydrate real quick. Yeah, we found the big old uh, elite. Yeah. That was really cool, though. Coming across one of those, um, because I, I don't think I've, or at least I don't remember coming across one through natural gameplay. Uh, the last time that I actually came across it, when I found out that that thing even existed, was I was, uh, I was, like, flying around and stuff, uh, while I was testing out mods. So I had god mode and, and, uh, no clip on. Say your needs. Say your needs. Dude, we're making bank off of these. We've already made, what, 6k from this? And we still have seven more of these. So that's gonna be... Uh, what, 14... 14k, I think? Like that? The ultimate chirpa lurpa. Yeah, it was a big boy. I can spare a few moments. I can spare a few moments. It was a very big, uh... Yeah, because you go in a third person and it's just like... It's towering over you. Like, it doesn't look that crazy in first person. Like, it's like, oh, it... it it's yes. kind of a big thing. And then you go in a third person and then you see, like, your character model versus it. It's like, damn. Guys, what... What do you normally... Like, how do you normally play Elder Scrolls games? Do you play it in third person or first person? Say your business. I only have a few more. I usually play it in, um... I, or I, I almost always play it in uh, first person unless it's Elder Scrolls Online. But it's because I, I like I like playing in first person because it just feels more immersive. Like, I, I feel like I am the character rather than I'm watching a movie about a character, you know? I know that Zelly probably does third person. Because of uh, the motion sickness. Tidings and good wishes to you. Tidings and good wishes. I'm making bank. It's a lot of money. Let's see. A couple more of these. We're at thirty thousand gold right now, Speak which is nice. Say your word. What? I still need to find. You know what? We need to find that um, the mud crab merchant. So maybe I'll start going into that direction after I finish Isn't this up. Something I can do for you? Um, because we need a better source of like, or a, or a better merchant to sell things to. And the only thing that I know is that supposedly, I guess it's like on an island east of Vivek, I think, right? Uh, you play mostly in third person, but you usually switch to first person during fights. That makes sense. That makes sense. How do you, how do you, what do you do for Fallout? Or do you play Fallout games? So I feel like you probably, Save since since you have like the sensitivity to um, motion sickness, come on, you probably have... don't really um, play many like first person games, right? Unless it's something like Doom, like the original Doom. I feel like that'll probably be fine, right? Because there's not much um, like that or a Blobber or something. Like they don't really have much m movement per se. Like, I feel like, uh, Legend of Grimrock, you'd probably be fine with that. Because it's just move forward, move forward, move to the left. That's it. Say your words. Say your words. Boom! Alright, so we have sold off all of those, which means we got some precious, precious weight back off of us. Um...
And we have 40,000 gold. Say your word. Which is good money to go toward enchantments. This over with quickly. Fallout is like 90% third person because you can fire the guns in third person and it works well. I haven't tried doing that in um, Fallout. So... I felt like Fallout probably wouldn't do that great unless you're what, like running around with a minigun, maybe. Bar. Um, Greetings, Outlander. Or if you're using melee. Sun and sky, Outlander. We greet you warmly. But it didn't seem like it would do too good with that. Uh, so that's neat. Should I go to... Hmm. Yeah, let's go to Vivek. We'll go to Vivek. We'll zip out of here. Once I can find my way out. And then... Um, we'll start heading toward the coast from the east, since we haven't explored it anyways. It'll give us something to do. We can explore the uh, the caves here. Try and see if they got any shinies. And yeah. 5 a.m. Okay, so it's going to come daytime soon. So we're heading off in... This direction. Alright, let's get our levitation out. Boom. Oh man, I miss levitation in uh in these games. Although if they did levitation with with Skyrim, I wonder how they would do it. Like if, if they had open open gates, the cities didn't have you didn't have to like load into the cities so that way levitation actually works. I wonder how they would do like go about doing it when you're on a horse. <laughs> like what would they just pull the um the daggerfall approach where the horse also flies? In a way, when you think about it, if you if you're playing Daggerfall and you have a horse and you have a cart, you basically just become Senna. You know one thing that we never did in um in Daggerfall, we never bought a boat. You can buy a boat in that game. I keep forgetting that's a thing. Doesn't Skyrim have dragon riding in late game or something? It does, but it's it's um like you can't control it. It 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 kind of it kind of does its own thing, and you you you're just kind of there for the ride, which sucks. Uh, you can mod it so that you can actually have full control over it, which is great. But otherwise, yeah, you, you can't really control it. It kind of sucks. Yeah, we're checking these little islands. Yeah, you're not Billy. Get out of here. That is a fake Billy. Yo! You think Billy would get upset with me killing all these mud crabs? I'm basically murdering his family right now. What's going on? <sighs> oh. I thought the net was about to start attacking. Get a little worried. Okay, we get you out of here. Get you out of here nice. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. I still want to jump into, um... Whoa, who's attacking? I still want to jump into uh, Dread Delusion at some point. Because Dread Delusion kind of has a similar approach to this, where you have to, um... <laughs> I thought I killed Billy for a second, I got nervous. Uh, where you have to, like, find things. Right? Like, you have to go out of your way to find rings that let you cast spells. You have to go out of your way to find new weapons and stuff. Uh, which is neat. So, like, you really need to explore. Billy's just like, hey, it's it's less alimony. 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 
Nah, it's Alimony, okay? It's basically Alinity if Alinity was a lemon. We've come up- we, we came up with a new concept, guys. I can jump up there. Can't jump. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of little islands here. There is this place. You know what, let's check this place out. Why not? Doom, 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 doo, 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 doo. Alright, where is the entrance to this? Or is there an entrance to it? Cliff Fraser? Get out of here. Get out of here. Bro, imagine that, like, after that whole thing, after doing everything we did in the main story, basically killing a god, being an absolute badass, storming that one place, and destroying a skeleton army, we end up dying to something like a scrub. How sad would that be? Aha! We found it. Nice. Let's see what this place is about. Yo! Big boys! Okay. How hard do you hit? Eh, not that bad. Could be worse. Uh. <laughs> Yo, the little ding at the end when he falls over. Yeah, it's a lemony. And another one. You know what these guys kind of remind me of? Uh, the was it the Rock'em Sock'em robots? The little toys that we used to have? Uh, that probably only the millennials remember. Boom! Absorb health. I love that. That's what happened. Uh, that's what would happen if Morrowind was real. I forgot what I was talking about. I think there's a quite a bit, quite a bit of a delay. You know them things. The the thingies, the Rock'em Sock'em robots. Yeah, I've played. Uh, I've, I've played one before, and um. Uh, it's basically just whoever hits first. Uh, that's all it is. It's like, hey, who, who, who hits first? I think me and Buck are going to have to get one of those. That way, if, if we ever have like a situation where we can't decide on something, and both of us have like a different opinion on it, we could just battle each other with it. Like whoever whoever's the winner is the choice. Yo, there's two of them. You can see uh, all the the Morrowind Dwemer stuff being inspired by toy game developers. Or the <laughs> toy game developers? Wait, what? Uh, inspired by the toys the game developers like? Yeah, I can definitely see that. Because the armor is Gundam as fuck. I, I mean, I can definitely see it because it's like... They have to take inspiration from something, right? That's how, that's how art in general typically is. Uh, not all of it. But a lot of it... What is going on here? A lot of it is... It, it, it has inspiration from something, right? Um, they'll take qualities from something. So, I could see that being the case where it's like... Alright, we're gonna study the anatomy of, um... 
of Rock'em Sock'em robots. And that's how we decide the fate. The fate of the future of Elder Scrolls. This is what they will look like forever. And then they don't. They don't end up looking like that. I wonder what, what decided the uh, aesthetic for um, the clockwork guys. I mean, that was, that was mostly... ESO to start with, uh, to be fair. Um, because I don't think those guys were any in any of the other games, were they? Because Morwen didn't Morwen didn't have Clockwork, did it? Poison. Did I have a po uh, poison potion thing? Poise. I do. Nice. Let's cure that. There's a little Inuian. And let's get our uh, little lock pick out. Nice. For a second, I thought you were saying you and Bug should get a Rock'em Sock'em VTuber mod. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Clockwork, guys? Yeah, in. Um, so there is uh there's the Dwemer, but then there's the Clockwork stuff. So Clockwork is ba basically like Sothasil had an obsession with um with like the, the way that Dwemer created their stuff. And so he kind of created his own um cr like creatures and shit uh when he created the Clockwork City. Which the Clockwork City is an ES uh ESO. So, I don't know if they explore that in Morrowind at all, because it's definitely not part of the main story if they did. Um, if, it, if it was, I mean, there's probably mods for it, but if it is in the, ba like the base game, I would love to uh, check that out. I really like the Clockwork City stuff. Look, they added a lot with ESO, okay? <laughs> it was 10 years of constant development and constant new things. So, yeah, there, there's a lot of new shit that came out that came from um, ESO to the Elder Scrolls universe. That being one of them. I'm still uh, very curious about... Um, in in that game uh supposedly there was a pact between the tribunal and uh the i think it was eight of the strongest daedric princes i can't remember but it was basically to prevent them from ever manifesting themselves on nern as as long as the pact was still standing right um, and it was Sotha Sil that kind of, that kind of like stepped up and was like, "Hey, you know, here, here, here's what we'll do if, if like, you know, here, here's what the agreement is. Here's what you'll get. All that kind of stuff." But it doesn't say anywhere like what it was. That the agreement was based on. So we, we don't know what Sotha Sil, like what arrangement, what thing Sotha Sil gave them, or like uh, what the promise was, or anything that caused some of the strongest Daedric princes, including Molog Ball and and um, and Dagon, to fucking be like, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll uh, we won't we won't fuck with you. So I feel like that's gotta be a lot, right? There's a timeline where Sotha Sil uh, instead created the clock, God, the Cockwork City. Oh no! Not the Cockwork. Not the Cockwork. All right, so this thing is interesting. Uh, is there any area that we haven't? I think it's just a small one. I think we've cleaned it. 
Back to our search. Oh, hey, an ancestral tomb. Nice. <laughs> he still say so to sell promise the divine sex toys. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. One of these days, I, I do want to go back to, uh, to ESO, and I would like to kind of share that on stream. Because there is so much, so much fucking story and lore and everything that comes from that damn game. I know that there's, you know, older Elder Scrolls fans that don't like it, but they also don't like Skyrim, so... They can just go shut up. <laughs> I don't really care. I can understand not liking the game, but when they're when they're like, oh, this isn't canon. This isn't canon. It's like, bro, the developers are the ones that fucking created the world. What do you mean? How's it not canon? <laughs> When did ESO come out? Uh, I think it was 2016? Wait, no, 2014. It must have been 2014, because they just they just had a 10-year anniversary. When did ESO come out? Yeah, 2014. April 4th, 2014. But it's gone it's it's undergone a shit ton of uh changes. Like they they've done the uh, the next gen stuff they've done uh, a lot of game changes, a lot of rebalances, new classes. Ooh, we got a shiny thing! One more shiny to add to our collection. Okay, come on. And with that. Nice. What was we... Wait, hold up. Oh, I didn't do it that time. I, I cast that twice on him, and it was like he was reflecting it, but it wasn't, it wasn't working because we were absorbing it. Was it just reflecting it back to him? Because he, was, he still took damage from it. Extravagant, let's take that. Extravagant, let's take that. Um, so we're gonna use those for enchanting. Another shiny! Yes. I get all those shinies. Bone Lords have the scariest noises. Yeah, they do. If I remember, by the way, um, toward the end of stream, I will go back to Vivek. And uh, I'll show the comparison between Vivek, like the inside of uh, Vivek's room in this and ESO. Because I, I think y'all, like, you were wanting to. You wanted me to show y'all that uh, last stream or the stream before? I mean, there's a lot of time in between the two games. So, it makes sense that there would be differences, but I was kind of surprised by that one. Vivek's room, yeah. Yeah, because in this in this game, I mean, you know, to be fair, like some of it's because of like technical reasons, right? Technical limitations and all that kind of shit. But um, in this game, there's no other rooms. In the temple, like in, in inside of Vivek's area, uh, whereas in ESO it, there was, which I know for ESO's sake, they you know they made it bigger and everything because it's it's an MMO. You know, you gotta kind of make it, you gotta give it some room, right? But I thought that was interesting. Like, I wonder where the rooms went. Okay, so we got a big island here. That boy is dead. Big dead. Hmm. 
The issue, once I find the merchant, is going to be remembering where to go for the merchants. Yo, Zelly, would you say that I'm 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 hot or cold right now in terms of like where I'm at on the map, or do you do you know? Without without like straight up giving the answer, I guess. Uh, so we have to assume there's an in-game reason Vivek had those doors and uh, rooms removed from his from his house. Well, can, I'm I'm just saying like there there probably isn't a reason. It, it could just come down to like it's just changes over time, right? Because that does happen. Um. But I'm also kind of curious if it was like, oh, the temple got attacked or something and those rooms got destroyed. So they just didn't rebuild them. Like, I wonder if it's something like that. I mean, especially the stuff, I mean, ju just the stuff alone that happened in, um, in that expansion. The Morrowind expansion for, uh, yeah, so, like, that was already some crazy damage that was done to, uh, to the place without giving spoilers. Not to the palace, but just, like, to the general area. Well, I don't see him on this island. If he's going to, like, I'm going to assume if they're going to put in a merchant. Even if it's a secret one, he's probably going to be near a ruin if he's not near a town. Because I feel like there would be a landmark of something, like a, like some sort of landmark nearby. Um, oh yeah, you know how Vivek could have been using illusion magic to hide those rooms from us? Uh, true. I mean, they weren't, they weren't, like, crazy rooms or anything. It was, it was basically, like, the rooms for, uh, some of his most trusted advisors. They just stayed, they stayed in there. Because Vivek didn't leave his spot. V Vivek just kind of stayed in that one area. But it was basically the people that were, like, his advisors and, like, um, I would assume caretakers. Sort of warm. Let me see the map again. So we are, here's Vivek. Um, and you got this little big chunk of land right here. You got this little, whatever the hell this is. You got this ruin. And we are over here. Whoa! Okay, we got an Aelid there. What is this little plot of land? Why do you look suspicious? Uh. Nope. These plants are massive, by the way. Holy shit. Definitely warmed. I right, sick. That means we're making progress. Oh, we got a, we got a thing here. Ooh, hello. Yakanalit. Yaka Yakan Yakan Alit. Yakan Alit. Oh my god, that's where you stand. Hell to pronounce. Why is there a Nord in here? Are you in the skooma trade? Are you are you in the slave trade? What what is this? Oh you are You are difficult. Holy shit. Yo, sir, you're you're pretty Oh wait, that's why. It's my Yep, 120. God damn it, man. My sword. This sword does not hold up that well. I think we're we're nearing a point where we should probably consider. 
at least for my own sake, I think I should probably consider uh, looking into another weapon. You will die in where you stand. Yeah, you'll, we're, we're gonna, bro. Look. <laughs> Dude dies and he's like, "Give in." I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna do it. I'm dead, but I'm gonna do it. Who are these people, man? They gotta be slave traders. Either that or, uh, wait, isn't, isn't ebony illegal? So they could be ebony miners. They could be skooma dealers. Like, there could be a couple of things. You Hi, how you doing? Yeah, because you're not supposed to be, you're not supposed to mine, unless they lifted it after we beat the game for some reason. Um, but you're not sp why did I take two of those? I don't know why I decided to take two of those. That was a waste. That's fine. You know what sword holds up well? Um, a Daedric one. That would be a pretty cool one to get. Oh, you're talking about, uh, Umbra. 135. Yeah, we do need to go get that. I would like to go get that, uh, because we can use that one, but I just don't remember where Umbra was. That's the issue. I don't, I don't, I don't remember where, um, where to find Umbra. Because, like, I, I've gone and, and, like, done that before, I'm pretty sure in the past. And I remember the sky being red. I remember going up and uh, up a hill, like all that kind of stuff, uh, or like this th through this little path. Um. So I'm going to assume the it's sword. near. Umbra. 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that's near uh, Red Mountain, but I can't remember. Cure poison. Let's take that. Worn chest. There's stuff there. Okay. Let's get open door. 196 gold? Yes, please. Umbra. Umbra. Restore attribute lock. Okay. Oh my. Wait, what the hell? There is so much gold in here. Third barrier. Gem feeder, soul trap, okay. Oh, and a, a soul gem, nice. Father's belt, oh my, uh, <laughs> Do I want that? Probably sell some blood stains on it. You know where Umber be? Would it be cheating? Like, what? <laughs> not cheating. Would, would it be like. Like, should, should, I, should I try and find it or should I, uh. Ask? Hmm. I don't think it matters. Uh, but I am definitely down to go get it. If we can, if we can actually beat Ombra, that is. If I. My thing is, like, we can't beat a Lich. So, like. Is Umbra harder than a Lich? Hmm. Another Father's Belt. Dude, we're getting so many shinies. So many soul gems. Belts of, uh, Belt of Jack of Trades. I uh, whole, whole, uh, Father's Belt? Yeah, it was called Father's Belt. I got two of them. Diamond, common soul gem, moon sugar, monies, restore intelligence. I forgot which thing it was that I'm uh, lacking at the moment. Potion of marking? There's a potion or for that? Take that. The hell is a father's belt doing this? Uh, Probably, you know, makes people... <laughs> probably commands people. 
Where was it? Here it is. Sanctuary, 1 to 40 points for 5 seconds on self. Sleep amulet. Restore speed. More moon sugar. Damn it, the moon sugar. Wildfire. Oh my god. So many shinies. Hunter's belt. Restore agility. Yay ish. Let's take that. So that, that helped us out there. Nice. 126 gold. We've been actually getting a shit ton of gold from this. This is crazy. Fortify. Ooh. Personality. You know what? We'll take that. Fortify personality. 40 points was actually. Like, that's a lot. That's quite a bit. We'll take that. Um, third barrier belt. Another belt. There's a lot of belts in here. Holy shit! What is it? That the I, I'm 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 assuming that it's got to it's got to be the moon sugar and stuff because there is moon sugar and stuff here. Lifestone. Hmm. Yeah, it's got to be the. Moon sugar and stuff. Um, but you can also find that, I feel like, just on criminals in general, right? There's so much gold. Oh, and there's still more over here. Another life belt. Some more of this. Another soul gem. A pearl. Moon sugar. A grand soldier. Um, the shit. Yo. Uh, uh. <laughs> he fell. God damn it. Take that. Take the skooma. Take the money. What are we at now? 42k? Good shit. Good shit. Lock level. Oh, yep. It is slave trade. Uh, I don't think we have a key for this place. So let's try, let's continue. I want to try and get the key f from probably this guy. I guess. Oh, you are tiny. Oh yeah, you, you've you got to be the guy. You are tanky. You know where Moonshire comes from? Um, It's a plant, I believe. It is grown. It is grown and processed. Do 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 do. You know how I know that? It's a plant. I, I can't remember if the plant is called moon sugar, but it, it comes from a plant, yeah. Um, yeah, I know it from Charlie. <laughs> no, just as everything, I know it from fucking ESO. Because um, you, you, you can learn a lot from ESO. I can actually show you. Uh, there's, I, I don't think it's, it, it has, like, the same kind of thing, not the same kind of thing, like, it's, it's not as, like, frowned upon back in, back in those days, you know? So, uh, you can actually, well, actually it is, but it's just more common to come across, I guess? Like, you can, like, you can find, like, fields of it. Um... There we go. Alright, so we got the key. Charles produces a moon go. Exactly. Me, that is true. Unlock. 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 This was also another thing that I that I used to do. Uh Back in the olden days, is if I found any any like slaves and stuff in the game, uh, I didn't go into the caves 
to, to like look for them, but the ones that are like out, like the plantations and shit, I would, I would try and kill the people that were there, take the key, and then like try and free them. And then I was so confused because they, they never actually leave. They just stay there. <laughs> or at least you don't visually see them walk away. Well, that was a cool place. We got, um... We've got... We got... Moon Sugar, we got Skooma. We got, um... A good bit of money. And we also got a shit ton of soul gems. I got two grand soul gems that are empty, seven greater soul gems, and then a bunch of, like, weaker ones, which is awesome. That's a bit of a historical, uh, parallel. Oh, stretch. What do you mean? Also, burned one. Welcome. Uh, you know, you've known Charles for like eight days, but this, uh, but this revelation has devastated you. <laughs> the revelation that, uh, Moon Sugar comes from, uh, the goo. The goo of Charles. Charles. Get out of here. So we got this little place here. Oh, and another cave here too. Hmm. Let's get rid of that. Um, when the U.S. abolished slavery, the government didn't do a good job at giving those people skills to find jobs and such. Despite the fact that they were free. Wait, what are we? Ta we're not talking about U.S. slavery. We're talking. <laughs> we're talking about the slavery in Morrowind. <laughs> I was saying that like when you whenever like when I was younger I would try and free them in the game and then they just kind of stood there and I was so confused like like they never actually like go go out like they don't they don't like run away they just kind of they just kind of stand there because that's just kind of how the scripting is um they didn't leave the plantations yeah um despite the facts that they were free men lots went back to the plantations I mean I guess so. I don't know. They needed work. They needed money. It's the only thing that they probably knew how to do, which is sad. Um. Plus, not. There, there was a lot of cases where like. Slaves and slave owners actually got along, depending on, like, where you lived and stuff. That's why so many, so many of them ended up taking, like, like, accepting, like, willingly took their, their last names. Ba-bum-bum-ba-bum-bum. <laughs> Still have these little things. But we still all right, we, we we have that whole island. I have yet to explore that. But that is a whole ass ruin. Do I wanna go explore those little islands first or no? Can I suggest a mini quest? Yes. What is a Z mini a quest? I am looking for for um, the mud crab merchant, but I'm not like I'm I'm not in a hurry. I'm not in a hurry at all because like we're still we're still fighting stuff, we're still exploring, uh, going into dungeons, collecting stuff, getting shiny, shiny enchanted things, um, you know all that shit. So I'm in. 
Uh, I'll rush. Do, 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 do. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, let's check this place out. After we have Billy, can we visit Saran and speak uh, speak with the traders there for reasons? Uh, Blast. What do they do? They accept moon sugar or something? I mean, we we can, but I I don't know what the reason is for. Get out of here before you get hurt. Oh, bro, shut up! Excuse me, I don't like to talk. I, I don't talk to people like you, bro. Get out of here before you get hurt. Yo, do you know who I am? I got a reputation of 40. Alright? Right? Yeah, I got a reputation of 40. I am well known in these parts. Get out of here before you get hurt. I love how in Morrowind, everybody that you come across just hates your guts. There's no reasoning to it. They just they just absolutely hate you. You can't. There's enemies nearby. Of course there is. There's a fucking cliff racer. God damn it. Cliff racer, come here. Come here. You can't even come here. You're a terrible cliff racer. Come on, go ahead. Is there another one? Oh, there's not. Okay. I thought I, heard, I was hearing, like, the attacks go off twice. So let's try and wait for 12 hours. Nice. Good shit. Good shit. Hello, mud crab. Do you know where Billy is? Do, 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 do. I feel like if he was anywhere, he'd be on this island because of the other people. I feel like it's better if I don't go into detail. Uh, you just think that we should chat with one of them traders in that dangle Saran trade house. Nah, I mean. Alright. If I forget, just remind me because. Um, my brain gets so fucking ADHD that my attention kind of goes elsewhere, and then I forget. So I might, I might need a, a little bit of a, a brain jump start. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you, I didn't even see you there. I thought you was a rock. I should probably actually use my other skills, shouldn't I? Because we've, we have this maxed out. Um, I can't use short blade because we like that won't level up anything. Like we could use destruction and stuff. I guess I could use like bone walker, level up our conjuration a little bit. Let's see. Ball fell. Yeah, the ball fell, bro. Ball and there fell. he saw a rock. But it wasn't a rock. Three blessings. My knowledge. What the fuck, bro? What are okay, this has to be some kind of quest. I'm gonna guess Fighters Guild. I don't know, something, uh, um, what, like, what's up with these guys? What the hell? At least they're not trying to kill me. This is clearly some quest shit. Hey, it doesn't look like y'all are, y'all are holding, is that Geralt? <laughs> doesn't look like y'all are holding, um, 
Charles hostage here or anything, so we're good to go. Um, should we go back to this place? Let's try. Oh, right. I forgot my damn sword. Here, let's let's uh do that. I forgot my um uh I need to repair my sword. Cold. Cold? All right, so we're going to go toward this area then. Gotcha. Here, that can stay there and fight it. Fight those guys. I'm gonna dump. I'm gonna run while I can. Are you serious? Die. What's my mysticism at? 63? Okay. Not bad, not bad. Excuse me. Excuse me, not Billy. I am on a quest. To find Billy. It's gotta be this big land then. Uh potions, potions, potions. 25, let's go. Boom. Heal ourselves up. Heal our magic up. And, uh, wait, I, I just realized we didn't have this up. No wonder I had to keep checking my damn thing. Can you pit? Yeah. <laughs> right when I said that. I think I, because I've been unpinning it whenever I go to take screenshots, because I've been taking, like, I've been coming in after, uh, after stream to, uh, get screenshots for the thumbnails for the second channel. And then I forget to pin it back. But then I keep forgetting that, like, pinning's a thing. I'm like, oh yeah. Right, you can do that. Did we visit this place? I feel like we did. Warmer. Warmer. Yo, were we... We were not in here. Alright, well, um, let's, 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 uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, that mini bone walker out. Come on. Come on, mini bone walker. Ooh. Oh, my health is not doing great. Ah, come on. Vecchia delay? Yeah, I think it's I think it's because of um the stream having issues earlier. It might have caused a delay. Whoa, what is up with this? I mean on my end there's not a delay. Uh but you guys might have to refresh if if there is one. If there's a big one anyways. Hello. What do you got here? Ancient chest. What? Old key. Exclusive jump potion. Potion of invisibility, yes. A light, a levitate. Good shit. I'm gonna take these skulls. Don't mind me. Those are mine. I wish for them. Oh, you're gonna be a bitch, aren't you? Stop attack. Stop, 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 stop with the attacking. Stop, stop with the attack. Stop that. Stop that. See, I asked you nicely. Stop that. <laughs> and you didn't stop it! Daedric Staff. Oh, man. Tempting. A little bit tempting. Oh, I got another thing to do. <laughs> I didn't mean to cast that. I kind of want to, um, 
get the sounds from like some of some of these sound effects from this game and like Oblivion and Skyrim and uh, and make a folder with them to use them as like various sound effects for videos because I think that would be fine and, and it would actually be thematic for some of these videos depending on the videos that I make. I feel like it would it would fit. Yo, yo, hold up, life still. Come on, that one's dead. What you got? Extravagant robe, warlock's ring. Isn't that an artifact? I'm pretty sure from like, from like the older games, because I think we got this in Arena. Like we hunted that one down as an artifact. That would be fun, because there's so many iconic sounds in this game. Yeah. Yeah, so I gotta, uh, I gotta see about doing that. I mean, if, it, if, if the videos themselves are, um, Elder Scrolls or, you know, like, like Elder Scrolls, Fallout related, whatever, then, uh, it fits. You know, it, it fits the theme. It's, um, there's no copyright issues there because it is fair use. Plus, the sounds aren't DMCA'd anyways, so it's fine. A game at dinner. Let's take thoughts. Thoughts. Interesting. What's going on here? Response to Barrow's speech. Flame guard. Scroll of the Blood Thief. Good God. You just find the Warlock Ring? Yeah, that's where I'm like. Is that the same? Is, is like is is that the Warlock Ring? The one that is considered an artifact? I mean, it was 22,000 gold, so, like, it's a lot of gold. Um, what was the effects on it again? It's not a bad ring either, but it is cast when used. So, reflect 10 to 20% for 30 seconds. And fortify speed for 30 seconds. So, I mean, that's not what I wanted to do. What was I doing? Oh, that. Right. I thought it also healed you. Um, I don't remember what the effects were from uh, Arena and Daggerfall, if I'm being honest. But, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this one. I don't remember what the effects were. I'd have to, like, look at my notes. Because I think I still have notes from that, or just look it up in general. Uh, another paralysis potion. That is weird. What was I saying? Oh, but in each of the games, yeah, the the effects of the uh, the different enchantments, the the different or the different artifacts and stuff, they do have like different effects. You know, one thing that's that's as a as a cool fact. So you know, what was it called? Namira's ring? Is that what it was called? The one that gives you cannibalism? in Skyrim. Um, that ring is not in this game, but it was supposed to be. So the model was actually created and everything, and it's in the game's file directory, but it was never actually put into the game itself.
Wait, what? You can... You didn't know that you can cannibalize in Skyrim? Yeah. I mean, you could do it if you're a werewolf. But, yeah, there, there's a ring that you can do. So, um... There's a quest in... Ah, uh, fuck. Which place? What, what was it? What was the name of it? I forgot the name of it. But there, there's a uh, one of the towns where there's like a there's like a thing going on in the graveyard, and you do that quest. And yeah, you can get you can get you can get the uh, cannibalism ring. Maybe you knew uh, knew that, but forgot. I thought that I've mentioned it a couple of times. Or like I've I've like mentioned cannibalism in Skyrim like quite a few times. No, not Markarth. Uh Is it Windhelm? It might be Windhelm. It's the place where like you walk in and there's immediately racism. Like immediately. It's like two guys, two Nords that are bullying a Dunmer. Or harassing a Dunmer. Uh, the one with the one that starts off the Dark Brotherhood. No, not Falkreath. Risen. There's a lot of caves over here. Neat. Excuse me. What's going on here? Ow! Look, I'm running here, okay? Winterhold? Hold on, I'll, 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 I'll... Uh, Skyrim Dark Brotherhood. How to start. It's the, it's the town, I, for, I forget the name of it. Yeah, it's Windhelm. It's Windhelm. Yeah, it's Windhelm. It's the place that, uh... That you start the Dark Brotherhood questline. The Stormcloak City? Not the Stormcloak City. <laughs> oh wait. Bro, oh, my my okay. It is the storm wait, is it the Stormcloaks? Yes. Yes. Bro, my brain okay, like it's been it's been too long, okay. I still got tired brain. That's my excuse. You don't know anything anymore? Yeah, so in Winhelm. Um in Winhelm, it is Winhelm. It is the Stormcloak study. Uh the graveyard that's there, if you visit it at some point, there'll be a quest. And it's basically like y you'll figure it out once you do it. Without without spoiling it unless we do it on stream. Sleepy brain? Yeah, I'm fucking tired. I've been tired. Like, every now and then, I have these moments where, uh, like, for multiple days, I'm just fucking exhausted. And I don't, I don't know if it's, like, like, I don't know what's causing it. I don't, I don't know if it's depression. Uh, I don't know if it's just, like, overstimulation and, I'm, and like, I'm just mentally exhausted. Like, I, I don't know what causes it. Um... But I'll have like a couple of days where my like I'm just actually tired, completely exhausted, and then I'm good, and then I go back to being exactly like that. They did. Where check this place? Is it cannibalism? And you went straight to Mark Markarth. Um I mean No, but I guess I can kind of see it because of the uh, Briar Hearts. Cuz the Briar Hearts are kind of screwed up, you know? ADHD burnout? 
Is that what it is? I don't really know too much about that. But, um, maybe it is. Alright, let's go back this way. They have cannibals there? Yeah. Excuse me. Oh shit, we got ads. We got ads. Uh, that's say like a dog and another member works for the meat stand right in front. Oh yeah, the, the dude, the, the dude, the, the meat stand guy where the one lady gets randomly attacked is very sus. I forgot about him. I completely forgot about him. Hello? Mar Marvani. Getting colder, sire. We're getting colder? So it's gotta be like one of these areas then. Unless it's on the mainland. You said it was on an island, though. 